Okay, Manny. Well, look, mate, it's good to see you hitting the ball again. And uh, in fact, I think I'm going to move you back up to clean up. How would you feel about that? Uh, look, mate, I want my best bat at numbers four. I know you're doing okay at six, but, uh, you know, the best guy has got to be at four for me. No, mate, JJ bats second. That's just his position. Corey Sager's still injured, mate. Look, you're batting four. Just go and hit the bloody thing, will you, mate? Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome to Season 3, Episode 9 here at the New York Yankees as we look to win the World Series using only American players. And today it is Game 4 of the ALDS in Seattle against the Mariners, of course. And, well, we do not want this going to a Game 5, primarily uh, because it's just going to give me more gray hairs, but also uh, because we want Marley to be, and DeGrom to be our 1 and 2 starters if and when we get to the Championship Series. So if we go to a Game 5, obviously Marley or DeGrom... We'll have to pitch that, and then they're not going to be available. You know, we're not going to have our our best lineup available to us when we want them for the for the next round. So we really do want to win this if we can. You can see the White Sox are in a similar position to us. They can clinch themselves uh, getting into the next round here as well. Uh, and this is how we've been going so far in the series. Now, Sega does still have his uh, strength hamstring one more day, and he's fully fit. So I'm not going to risk him today. We'll keep him uh, so we're getting back fully fit if and when we go to a game five. Um, him and Talkman are one for one. But uh, other than that, we've been hitting well. Uh, we're almost we're almost in, in descending batting order there, actually. I am moving Machado. I'll check the lines in a second, but I am moving Machado back up to clean up. He's been outperforming uh, Joe Adele, who we had, uh, who we did have there. So I just think Machado is he is the best, the best bat. He should be batting number four for us. Maybe uh, JJ's our best bat, but anyway, they're both very, very good. Um, and the pitching, I mean, we've done quite well to be honest. It's just last game, we've got just got a little bit out of hand for us, didn't it? A five-four defeat. But anyway, let's check the lineups for this uh, game four. It's uh, Trevor Stefan on the mound for us. We'll have a look at him here. He's not bad. He's not bad, but he's not had a great season. He's, he's just sort of league average, isn't he? War of 1.8, ERA plus of 105, a whip of 127, uh, an ERA of uh, 438. He is getting better. He's do, you know, doing better than he did last season. So I think he's going to be a useful starting pitcher for us. But he's, I mean, he's not our best, is he? But of course, it's game four. He's not supposed to be our best, but it looks like we do still win the pitching matchup. So that's promising. We'll have a look at their guy in a second. But our lineup is Fletcher leading us off at second base. JJ bats second in left field. It's Isbell, who's done brilliantly. Uh, Desnetta hitting at, uh, at, at, uh, at number three. It's Machado at third base cleaning up. It's Joey Gallo batting five in right field. Adele in center field bat six. Matt Olson, the first baseman, bat seven. Alamas, the shortstop, what will almost certainly be his last appearance of the postseason should Sega stay fit. Uh, well, injuries aside, he could come in for other positions, I suppose. He'll bat uh, eight at shortstop. Carson Kelly will catch. He's uh, batting nine. As I said, Stefan's on the mound for us. We're up against Ross Stripling for them. He has a number of pitches that are decent. Uh, ERA for him this season, 453. He has a whip of 116. ERA plus and war are both lower than Stefan. So, I mean, we win the matchup in theory. Let's hope we win it in practice. Chicken strip. <laughs> All right, and here we go, looking to avoid an unwanted Game 5. It's Fletcher to lead us off, batting 437, I think it was. So far in the postseason, the roof is closed today because it's probably freezing cold and snowing in Seattle in uh, October. And that is a ground ball on a 3-1 pitch for the first out of the game. In will come JJ, batting 417. It's an 0-2 pitch. JJ watches it. Silly. Swing the bat, mate. That is two away for Isbell, who's batting 538. What a revelation he has been. And that's going to continue as he gets it down the left field, uh, right field line. Sorry, it's a two-out double as he slides into second. It'll bring up Manny Machado. Let's see if he can continue to uh, resurge his season. Batting 400 in the postseason. It's a first pitch swing. Manny Machado grounds it out to first, and that'll end the innings. We can't take advantage of Isbell's uh, double. And we'll go and have a pitch. Stefan on the mound. Shed long at the plate. Batting 250 for them so far this postseason, which is basically the series, isn't it? It's an 0-1 pitch. And that is a ground ball back to the pitcher. And Trevor Stefan will have that all day long. And that is one away. In will come Kalinic batting 273. It's a 2-2 pitch. 
That is well hit. It's going to get to the fence and it's going to be a one out. Hopefully no more than double. It is just a double as Joey Gallo gets it in. And let's hope that we don't have any more hits this inning. It's Rodriguez coming in now, batting 182 and 02. Rod oh, it's got away. It's got away. The runner goes to third. Well, what we wouldn't give for a strikeout here to get to two away. Oh, dear. It's hit. It's going to get caught, is it? It's a stunning catch by Adele, but he can't prevent the run from scoring. And we've fallen behind in the bottom of the first. Two away. Jonah Davis to the plate, batting 182. Davis hits it into right field. It drops in for a single. And early signs here that Trevor Steffen is not on top of their lineup. It's a 2-2 pitch on Anderson. There's a strikeout to end the first. But we have fallen a run behind. Joey Gallo will lead us off, batting 333 in the postseason. It's a 1-2 pitch on Joey. Gallo swings through strike three. One away. Adele. Batting 250. Make me regret dropping it down the order here, mate. It's a full count. Adele swings through strike three. And that is two away for Matt Olsen batting 200. It's an 0-2 pitch. And Olsen swings through strike three. And old chicken strip on the mound is having a good start to the game. It is Raleigh coming in the bat for them. A 1-2 pitch and a home run that makes it 2-0 to the Mariners. 380 feet over right field and that was reasonably well crushed wasn't it and uh yeah Marley we might be needing you in a game five here it's a walk to the next man up and it brings up JP Crawford who is only batting one for 11 in the postseason that one was a home run that is hit straight to Adele he does a good job keeping the runner at first and that is one away Ty France will come in now, batting 250. It's an 0-2 pitch. It's a good pitch. It's a strikeout, and it's two away. Shed Long, who's 0 for 1 today, comes back up. It's a 1-2 pitch. It's a pop-up, and it'll be caught in foul territory by Matt Olsen to end the second, but we've dropped another run behind. It is Alamas to lead us off. 222. He is batting a 1-2 pitch. A ground ball to shortstop, and that should be, and it is, one away. Carson Kelly, who has two hits in the postseason, and they both landed in the fans. It's a first pitch swing, and that is... Uh, well, he's not quick enough. <laughs> and that is two away for Fletcher, who is 0 for 1. Come on, Fletch. Can we get something going here in the top of the third? Oh, maybe we can. Fletcher punches it into right field, and that will be a two-out single for J.J. Blade. He's 0 for 1 today. J.J. gets it into right field. Can Fletcher get himself over to third? He can. And it's Isbell to the plate. And if he can get another hit, he's one for one today, of course. We could be cutting away at their lead here. Come on, Isbell. It's a 3-0. He walks to load the bases. And come of the hour, come of the man, it's Manny Machado. Two out. Loaded bases here in the top of the third. What can Manny do? It's a 2-0 pitch. And he pops it up. And it ends the innings. The two-out rally ends with nothing, ultimately. And we go to the bottom of the third. Kalinic, who has a hit today, will lead them off. It's a 1-2 pitch. It's a swing. It gets away from Kelly behind the plate, but he gets the out at first anyway. And that is one away. Julio Rodriguez, who uh, hit the sack fly to score the run last time up. This time he walks. And Jonah Davis, who is one for one, comes up to bat. An 0 1. Oh, gets away from the catcher again. And Rodrigo, no, Rodriguez even, will go to second with one away. It's a 3 1 on Davis. He grounds it to second base. Fletcher makes the play at first. Runner goes to third. And can we have an innings without giving up a run? Brian Anderson will come up to bat. He's 0 for 1 today. It's a 2 0 pitch. Anderson gets it into left field, and we cannot. It's an RBI single. It's 3-0 to the Mariners. And it's Raleigh to the plate, who's already hit a home run today. A 2-1. Raleigh grounds it into the... Oh, Alamas. It's an error. The inning should be over. Instead, there's 2-1, two 2 out for Semyon. He walked, I think, last time up. A 1-0 pitch. That's going to get into left field. Can JJ prevent the run? No, he can't. 
and the error costs us a run. We're 4-0 down in the bottom of the third. And we're not out of this innings yet. Another 1-2 pitch. That should do it. Alamas this time makes the play successfully. But early days here and we have a lot of work to do. Gallo, who uh, is 0 for 1 today. A 2-1 pitch. Joey Gallo lines it straight to second base. One away. Joe Adele, who's 0 for 1, comes in. It's an 0-2 pitch. He watches it. Two away. Matt Olsen, who's 0 for 1. Another 2-2 pitch. Olsen swings through it, and that ends the fourth. And considering we were supposed to win this pitching matchup, I'm not sure what's going on here. Ty France, who's 0 for 1, comes in. A 1-2 pitch. A strikeout, one away. Shed Long now, who's 0 for 2. Let's keep this 0, mate. Come on, Tyler. Uh, what's your name, Trevor? He does. Another strikeout. Two away. In comes Kalinich, who is 1 for 2. It's another 1-2 count. And that should do it. And we have finally avoided giving up a run. But we have still conceded 4 in 4 innings. And it's Alamas to lead us off, who owes us for his error. It's an 0-1 pitch. Alamas... Grounds it to the, uh, what's that, the left right side of the pitch up, and that is one away. Carson Kelly now, who's 0 for 1. A full count. Kelly watches strike three. And we're back two out, no one on for Fletcher. And let's see if we can get something going here again with two out. Fletcher, he's done it again. He's popped it into left field. And again, we have a two out single. Can JJ keep it going for us? He's one for two today. A 1-1 pitch. JJ pops it up, and that'll do it for the top of the fifth. We're only being out hit five to four. We're just not getting our hits at the right time, and they are, aren't they? Rodrigo, who has a sack fly and a walk so far today, had a strikeout to that. That's one away. And that will do it for Stefan. In will come Stephen Brolt. His first outing of the postseason been a very reliable pitcher for us during the regular season 184 era uh, look at that era plus of 250 whip of 105 he's as i said he's been a very very reliable pitcher he's going to face jonah davis with a one two count and that is a strikeout for two away and anderson will come in now who is one for two it's a two two pitch can we end this innings yes we can and we'll go and have a bat in the sixth and we really do need to start chipping away at this, don't we? Isbell will lead us off. He's one for one today with a walk. And add a strikeout to that. That is one away. Manny Machado now, who's 0 for 2. A 1-0 pitch. Come on, Manny. Machado grounds at the shortstop. That'll be two away. And it's going to bring Joey Gallo to the plate, who is 0 for 2. A 3-1. Joey Gallo almost kills the pitcher, but it gets past him. Shortstop, though, in the shift gets there. And that ends the sixth, and we still can't get anything going with the bat. Brolt, in terms of runs anyway. He will face Riley, who has a home run already today. Gets the walk there, leadoff walk, which isn't ideal. Semyon, though, who's one for one, comes in. An 0-1, Semyon pops it up. That's easy for uh, Joey Gallo out there. Runner will go back to first, and it's one away. JP Crawford, who's 0 for two. An 0-2 count and another strikeout. Brolt has three now. Ty France will come in. Two out, one on. He's 0 for 2 today. He's hit that well, though. Gets past Machado into left field. And hopefully not a run. Oh, they're going to score. It's an RBI double. And it's 5-0 to the Mariners. And it looks... Well, we're nailed on for a game five at this point, aren't we? That should end the innings. But if we can't score runs, we're in trouble here because we go to the seventh, five nothing down. Adele will lead us off and we desperately need to get something going here. A first pitch swing, Adele pops it up. How is this guy doing so well? He's supposed to be rubbish. Matt Olsen comes in now, he's 0 for 2. A full count, Olsen gets it up the middle. All right, a one-out single. Let's see if we can... Uh, it was nice to get a hit without two outs, isn't it? Maybe we can build on this now. It's Alamas and Kelly, though, so let's not hold our breath. Alamas, first pitch. Alamas up the middle. All right, maybe we can do something here. Two on, one out. Carson Kelly, who has hit two home runs already this postseason. What we wouldn't give for a third. He gets it up the middle. And it's going to be... Is it loaded bases? Or is a run going to come in? 
praise Jesus, we've scored a run. It's 5-1. to one. It's Carson Kelly with an RBI single. And it's Fletcher, who is 2-3. for three. And this is the time we need you to get your hit, mate. Two on, one out. And Fletcher pops it up. Oh, that was the time, Fletch. It's two away. And it's JJ Blade. Two on, two out. He's one for three today. A first pitch swing. JJ lines it straight to shortstop. And that feels a little bit like a missed opportunity. Top of the order up as well. And as we stretch, we're 5-1 down. Brault will face Kalinich, who's one for three. It's a first pitch swing, and that is a first pitch out as well. One away, as Olsen makes the play at first. Rodriguez now will come in. He's 0 for 1. He's had a walk, a sack fly, a strikeout, two strikeouts now. And that's two away for Jonah Davis, who is 1 for 3. It's a full count. Two out, no one on, and that should do it for the seventh. We need four runs in two innings, or we're going home for a game five. Isbell, who's one for two, will lead us off. A first pitch swing. Isbell, that looked uh, quite high, didn't it? And he's popped it up into left field, and that is one away. Change of pitcher. Will it bring us a change of luck? Andy Crawford comes on the pitch. He's going to face Manny Machado, who's 0 for 3, and probably needs to go back down to number 6. The good news is that, um, as Machado does indeed strike out, Corey Sager will be back for the next game. So we could stick Corey Sager in even at number four uh, and then move Machado to six and maybe Adele down to eight to keep sort of the lefties and righties apart. One, two count on Joey Gallo with two away. And I'm not saying I've given up hope here, but uh, I'm playing for game five, aren't I? <laughs> Brian Anderson to face Brolt. He's one for three. It's a one-two pitch. It's well hit-ish, but it's going to be caught by Adele, and that'll be uh, one away. Seth Elledge will come in to pitch for us now. Now, Seth Elledge, I've said it before, really, really rate this guy. Again, regular season-wise, ERA of 275, a whip of under 1, uh, ERA plus of 167, a war of 1.9. He's very, very reliable, usually. Raleigh will come in. It's a full count. One out, no one on. Can Elledge get, him off, off, uh, get himself off to a good start? It's more or less popped up, and it's, uh, it'll do the job, won't it? That is two away for Semyon, who is one for two. It's a 1-1. One, one. It's a ground ball. Machado has it over to first. And that will end the eighth. And we need four runs in the ninth to keep this game alive. It is Adele to lead us off. He is 0 for 3 today. It's a full count. Get yourself on base, Joey. It looked low and looked outside, but he swung at it anyway. One away for Matt Olsen, who's one for three today. It's a 2-2 pitch. He strikes out. We're down to our final out. It's Alamas. He's one for three. It's a first pitch swing. Come on, Alamas. He pops it up, and we will be going to a game five. And frustratingly, so will the White Sox Angels series. We had an opportunity to buy ourselves an extra day's rest there. It's a frustrating game, that one. It always felt like we were chasing it, but we, in the end, out-hit them as well. So, yeah, there we go. We will be going to a Game 5. It'll be the same matchup as Game 1, which, of course, we won 3-0. to zero. Uh, If Marley can go seven shutout innings again, then we'll be quite happy, won't we? Um, I think we will go with Marley in this one, as opposed to DeGrom. Um, where's DeGrom? Yeah. Let me, well, I'll have a think about it. They should both be more or less ready to go. DeGrom is, oh, maybe DeGrom won't be quite there. We might be stuck, not stuck with, we might have to go with Marley. Um, but assuming that we win, I mean, there's nothing wrong with DeGrom going game one of the ALCS, but hopefully our season will still be alive at that point. But guys, that'll do it for today. If you did enjoy that, sorry we couldn't get across the line, but we've got to keep it exciting, don't we? We need it again. <laughs> oh, I really would have liked to have won that. But uh, we go back home. We won our first two games at home. There's no reason why we can't do it for a third is there and we'll get ourselves through this series. But as I said, if you've enjoyed that, thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time for game five as Marley goes again. Take care.